Well, all the arts cannot really be separated. Storytelling, filmmaking, photography, fashion, they're all linked, they all influence each other. They have never existed separately. And you can tell a story in every world. You can tell a story in the world of fashion just as well as in the world of poor people and rich people. And it's really how much you believe in your story. And uh, I think fashion has been an, a driving force in cinema, always been. Cinema has pushed fashion and fashion has pushed cinema. So it's not a strange marriage, it's not an odd couple. Dreams are part of the inspiration. You never know where an idea comes from. It comes from different sides and it happens because different ideas cross each other. And for me, one element always has to be place. And I couldn't really imagine this one until I found this particular place in Milano. And then I started to dream it up. So for me, it's a mixture of story and dream and place. For me, place is very important. I cannot really think of a story without knowing where it takes place. There's a nice saying that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So beauty can be found if you're ready to see beauty. I never believed in the beauty that everybody thinks of as beauty. I find beauty sometimes in unnoticed things and sometimes in things that are not spectacular. I found beauty in clouds and the sun and light and faces more than anything else. I think what's really beautiful is the human face and the human eye. I think there's nothing more beautiful than eyes meeting other eyes. And if there's a smile that comes with that encounter, I'm very happy. Then I think beauty has entered the planet. In this particular little film, there were several conditions. It needed to be a little bit science fiction because the Ferragamo fashion was future oriented. So we tried to find a background that was somehow futuristic. And then I had suggested the love story because we wanted it to be upbeat and friendly and especially in these times where we have all seen so much hardship, we didn't want it to be dark or gloomy. We, didn't, we wanted it to be alive and fresh. So I thought of a love story and to tell you the truth, I've seen so many <laughs> Love stories happen on my movie sets. Myself, I fell in love with my wife on a movie set 30 years ago. And I've counted the other day, I've caused about a dozen marriages that happened between people who got to know each other on my sets. So I'm an expert in love stories on film sets. That's so beautiful. Right now, the world is in a very strange situation and I think mankind hasn't been in the place where we all have been over the last year by now. And I think it's great that cinema exists and that cinema can help as always, especially in times of crises, to find a new way and find ways to redefine who we are and how we can make a better world because I think it's necessary more than ever right now that cinema helps us inventing a better world because if it's just the same old world after this pandemic then it wasn't good for anything it must have been good for something and I think it can be good for something I think a lot of people have understood that we can all do much better and 
I want to help with my films to imagine how to make the world a better place. <laughs>